not possible to touch many of your endocrine glands. And for a good reason. Though there is an endocrine gland in your throat that you can test for irregularities on your own. All you need is a glass of water and a mirror. First, stand in front of the mirror and then tilt your head back slightly. Take a sip of water and look for lumps as you swallow. Then, have a feel for any bumps. If you find something didn't feel right, talk to your doctor. But before you head off to do this check, let's explore a few more of the glands in your endocrine system. Thyroid is located at the lower front part of the neck, wrapped around the trachea in the fifth cervical to the first thoracic vertebrae. It is an endocrine gland which secretes hormones necessary for growth. The thyroid gland consists of two lobes on either side of the trachea, which are connected by a narrow segment called the isthmus. A magnified sectional view of the thyroid gland shows small bunches of cells known as parafollicular cells and also shows a large number of follicles lined with cuboidal epithelial cells arranged around a cavity. These cells are the follicular cells. They are at different stages of activity. The less active follicles contain cells with a more cuboidal appearance, while the active follicles have columnar cells. There are blood vessels surrounding the follicular cells. These arteries release iodides, which are absorbed by the follicles. Once inside the follicular cells, the iodide ion is oxidized by an enzyme thyroid peroxidase to form active iodine. Inside the follicular cells, thyroglobulin is also synthesized, which then couples with active iodine and forms iodized thyroglobulin. This iodized thyroglobulin is transported into the central cavity. It is stored here as colloid till thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH targets the follicle cells. In response to the TSH, the colloid cleaves to form and release thyroxine. This released thyroxine diffuses into the blood vessels present in the thyroid gland. This hormone travels through the blood into the liver. A magnified view of one cell shows that the supply of thyroxine to the cell increases its metabolic activity, depicted here as increase in number and size of mitochondria. This increase in the number of mitochondria increases the activity of the cell. Thyroxine hormone released by the thyroid also acts on tissue cells to help in growth. Let us now focus back on the sectional view of the thyroid gland. It has parafollicular endothelial cells which are surrounded by blood vessels. Parafollicular cells produce a hormone calcitonin. This hormone is absorbed into the bloodstream and travels to the bones to regulate calcium homeostasis. Let's summarize. Thyroid is located at the lower front part of the neck, wrapped around the trachea. It is an endocrine gland which secretes hormones necessary for growth. The less active follicles contain cells with cuboidal appearance, while active follicles have columnar cells. Once inside the follicular cells, the iodide ion is oxidized by an enzyme thyroid peroxidase to form active iodine. TSH, the colloid, cleaves to form and releases thyroxine. Thyroxine hormone released by the thyroid also acts on tissue cells to help in growth. Parafollicular cells produce a hormone calcitonin. This hormone is absorbed into the bloodstream and travels to the bone and regulates calcium homeostasis. 
who knew that this little gland controlled so much? It's wonderful when it's working like any system. But what happens if things stop working smoothly in the thyroid? Does it impact just the throat or much, much more? Explore more videos to find out. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.